Hey folks, this is Joe from JoeColantonio.com. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to test a web service using Soap UI Pro. Now, Soap UI Pro is a functional test tool by SmartBear that allows you to test web services. Soap UI does come in two flavors. You have a free open source version, and you also have a pro version. Uh, for this demo, I'm using the pro version. For this demo, I'm going to be using a sample application that came with HP Service Tests. And the reason why I'm doing this is so I have a web service to test against. So this is the HP's sample application. And the first thing I'm going to do is just grab this WSDL. Now in SOAP UI Pro, I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to point to that endpoint that I just copied. OK, great. So once you do that, in SOAP UI, you should now have all the operations. All right, so to start off with, the two operations that I'm interested in are the get flights and the create flight order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the get flights and I'm just going to change the request name. I'm going to rename it. I'm just going to call it get flights request. And I'm going to do the same for create flight order. Okay, great. So once you rename the request, I'm just going to put both of these into a test case. So I'm going to right click on the get flight request and I'm going to select the Add to Test Case option. And so the test case, I'm just going to name this HP WSDL. And the test case, I'm just going to call HP Flights. I'm just going to take the defaults. OK, great. So now I have a test case. And in the test case, I would have my test get flights. And so I'm also going to do the same thing for create flight order request. I'm just going to add that to the test case that we just created. Okay, great. So now in my test case, I have both get flight and create flight order. So now I'm just going to start entering in the parameters needed for the request. So I'm going to go to the get flights request. I'm going to double click on it. And this should bring you to a, a form. And in the form, it should have drop downs where you select the required parameters. So for get flights for departure city, I'm going to select Frankfurt. And for arrival city, I'm going to select Los Angeles. Now, I'm also going to add a assertion. Now, an assertion is basically just to check that when you send a request, when you get a response back, that you're actually getting a response that, you, that you're expecting. So assertions allow you to do that. And there's uh, many different kinds of assertions you can perform. XPath match. I'm going to select this icon under XPath Expression that allows you to point to which node you want to validate. So I'm going to select this flight number. And so I happen to know that 20321 is a valid flight number. So I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to run the request just to make sure it works. OK, great. It passed. You know it passed because it's green, and both assertions are green. you also notice on the right-hand side, if we expand this, we can see the response back from the request, and basically it's just a, it's an array of valid flights. So what I'm going to do now is I want to take the response that I re returned from get flights, and I just want to grab that flight number, and I want to use it as input for my next request, which is the create flight order. So I'm just going to double click on create flight order. Let's expand that. I'm just going to fill in the parameters. Now for flight number, I'm going to right click on this field and I'm going to select the get data option. And for get data, I'm just going to point to the get flight. So I'm going to point to the previous request that we made and I'm going to select the response property. And for that response property, I'm now just going to select on this flight number. I'm going to add another assertion. And for this assertion for the flight order, I'm also going to do an XPath match, so total price, and the expected value, 112. So if we double click on the HP flights, we can run the test set. And so I'm going to run it from the top. So it's going to run the test case from top to bottom. So it's going to first run the get flights. It's going to send a request, get a response back. And from that response, I'm going to use the flight number value to use as input for the create flight order for the next request. So let's run it. And awesome. So we know everything 
pass because the value is green for finished and both of the web service operations are both green. And that's how you test a web service in SOAP UI Pro. Hope it helps.